the only countries in the world in which low-income people have managed to get a halfway decent level of living are those which rely on capitalist markets. Just compare the just compare the quality of life, the level of living of the ordinary people in Russia and the ordinary people in, I won't say the United States, but in France, in Italy, in Germany, in England, or in Hong Kong. Compare Hong Kong with China, mainland China. Hong Kong, the question is here, every society is driven by personal interest. Mainland China is driven by personal interest. The question is, how is personal interest disciplined? Mm -hmm. If the only way you can satisfy your personal interest is by getting somebody that other people want to pay for. Or by forcing it down other people's throats at the point of a gun, I suppose. If you can at do the it extreme. at the extreme. But that won't, that won't get their cooperation. You may be able to kill them. You may be able to take their wealth, but it won't create any more wealth. So the only societies which have been able to create broadly based relative prosperity have been those societies which have relied primarily on capitalist markets. That's true whether you take Hong Kong versus mainland China, East Germany versus West Germany, Czechoslovakia before World War II and currently. You cannot find a single exception to that proposition. So okay. that personal, Adam Smith put it best over 200 years ago when he said, the pursuit of uh, people who intend only to pursue their self-interest are led by inv an invisible hand to promote the public interest even though that was no part of their intention. Mr. Ford, did not, Mr. Ford did not develop the Ford car for the public interest. He did it for his private interest. But Adam Smith also saw a role for government. He also saw, for example, in the administration of justice, didn't he? So do I. I am not a zero government person. I think there is a real role of government, and one of the reasons I object to so many of the things that government has gotten into is that it prevents government perf from performing its proper role. You have a two-year-old granddaughter? Yes. And her name is? Uh, her name is Becca. Becca. When you look at Becca, what do you see for her and for her future? That depends entirely on what you and your fellow citizens do to our country. If you and your fellow citizens continue on moving more and more in the direction of socialism, not only in spy through your drug prohibition, but through the socialization of schools, the socialization of medicine, the uh, regulation of industry, I see for my granddaughter the equivalent of Soviet communism three years ago.